This is Dabu7. We have some interesting revelations here. I talked about this a little bit live last night, but as most of you should know, our live shows are not shown worldwide, so if everyone out there wants to see this information, sometimes I've got to recover it in a separate video. And I think that this is interesting because it's referencing the biblical Tower of Babel. And they're saying that it shows proof that it really existed. Now, I talk about all the time, all the history that they steal from us, that they cover up, that they keep hidden. The Smithsonian, of all places, plays a critical role in housing all of those artifacts, hiding them away from the public. They own most of the buildings surrounding the National Mall there in D.C., completely loaded with artifacts that most of us will never see. It's interesting, though, that this Smithsonian Channel is now airing this documentary, and the series is called Secrets. And they're saying they have the emergence of this new very compelling evidence that the Tower of Babel actually existed. They're saying that this stone tablet, never before shown on film, appears to settle the question. And this is coming from them. They're saying that this tablet, which dates to about 600 B.C., is from the private collection of a Norwegian businessman, Martin Schoyen. And it includes the clearest image ever found of the great ziggurat of Babylon. And this is according to Andrew George, professor of Babylonian history at the University of London, who also says that in the video, it, ca it carries an illustration which looks like a pyramid-type structure. And they say, with a depiction of King Nebuchadnezzar II, the ruler of Babylon from 605 to 562 B.C. So they're saying, they believe this puts it to rest, that this thing definitely existed. And this paints the clearest image ever. So apparently, it was in this guy's private collection where he got it. We don't know. Black market somewhere. I don't know. They don't give those details. But he has it. They're saying that it's real. It's ancient. And it proves that the Tower of Babel really existed. But nonetheless, wanted to share that with you. Some interesting details there. I'll leave a link and I will continue to release more information as I come across it as always. It's been Dabu7.